lecture series will present Texas fossil finds during the journey from dig to the museum, taking a thrilling adventure through Texas fossil digs and discoveries with professional paleontologist Andre Lujan during his uh, free public lecture and Sarah Parker joining us as Hi. well. Great to have you both here. Thank you so much for having us. So where are you finding these fossils here in Texas? Um, primarily West Texas, but okay. they can be found from the Panhandle Plains all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Okay, so what are you expecting to talk about tonight? Tonight we're going to talk about um, some local finds, some marine reptiles from Northeast Texas, and some new dinosaurs that I found in West Texas. What's the coolest thing you found? Uh, a new genus of armored dinosaur, the first ever discovered in the state of Texas. What? Mm -hmm. what what's it called? It's an ankylosaur. So ankylosaur. Mm. Imagine if an armadillo had a, a club tail. Okay, <laughs> we all know armadillos here in Texas. Okay, so what will people learn tonight? Are you gonna have them ask questions? Are you gonna talk about how you do this? I'm just gonna kind of inform people about the process of discovery, the, the slow process of uh, preparation, restoration, mm -hmm. and the eventual display in museums. And uh, I love answering questions. So questions. how do you go about this? Like, where do you know to, to start digging and then t take us from the beginning to the end of when you actually are able to retrieve these fossils. So that's what we're going to dive into in the lecture, but it really starts uh, asking a question why things are here or why they aren't here, mm -hmm. and diving into the research and reviewing geological survey maps and applying all of those things to point you in the right direction. And then when you find one, I guess you have to keep digging because you know there's more to be found somewhere around there, right? People always ask me, what's the best place to find a fossil? And the answer is the last place you found one. Yeah. And then how do you get them together? I mean, you know, I, I grew up in Utah and I see these massive dinosaurs and I think, how do you know where this bone goes? And they, sometimes you won't even, I mean, because there's not a picture, I guess, a lot of the times, especially if you find a new type of, of um, species. Well, they're all based on something similar. Um, so we can use that as kind of a road map, but we often get stumped in the lab when we prepare a bone and we have no idea what it is or where it belongs. So. It's a long process of figuring that out. Fascinating. I can't even imagine. Uh, it, this type of thing, it seems maybe a bit tedious, but also so rewarding when you finally get it together. It is. Um, Permian animals, especially Dimetrodon, are, are one of my favorite animals out there. I feel like your IQ is so much higher than mine, I can't even <laughs> tell you. But I'm intrigued by everything you're talking about. And Sarah, tell us about, if people want to come out and learn more about this and, and see the whole process. You have some amazing pictures, obviously, they can, they can check out as Thank well. You. Yes, the event is free and open to the public. Come join us at the McFadden Moore Visitor Center, 1906 Calder Avenue. The doors will open at 6 a.m. and the lecture begins at 6.30. Try to get there early to grab a seat. Seating is limited. Okay, she meant 6 p.m. because that's tonight, right? Yes, okay. tonight. <laughs> we don't want to make people show up in the morning. Okay, so tonight, and this is the visitor center. Not yes, the, the visitor center, the 1906 Calder. Perfect, thank you both for coming on. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for enlightening me.